again to the reading of the gospel according to saint luke chapter 23 and 24 with this we come to the end of the reading of the chapter uh, of the gospel according to saint luke chapter 23 and the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto pilate and began to accuse him saying we found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to caesar saying that he himself is christ a king and pilate asked him saying art thou the king of the jews and uh, he answered him and said thou sayest it and pilate asked him saying art thou then the pilate said to the chief priests and to the people i find no fault in this man and they were then more fear saying he is tearing up the people teaching throughout all jewry beginning from galilee to this place and when pilate heard of galilee he asked whether the man was a galilean and as soon as he knew that he belonged unto herod's ju- jurisdiction he sent him to herod who himself also was at jerusalem at that time and when herod saw jesus he was exceedingly glad for he was desirous to see him for a long season because he had heard many things of him and he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him then he questioned him with many with him in many words and he answered him nothing and the chief priests and the scribes stood and vehemently accused him and herod with his men of war set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to pilate and the same day pilate and herod were made friends together for before they were at enmity between themselves and pilate when he had called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people said unto them ye have brought this man unto me as one that perverted the people and behold i having examined him before you have found no fault in this man touching those things whereof you accuse him no no red herod for i sent you to him and to nothing worthy of death is done unto him i will therefore chastise him and release him for of necessity he must release one unto them at the feast and they cried out at once saying away with this man and release unto us barabbas who for a certain sedition made in the city and for murder was cast into prison pilate therefore willing to release jesus spake to them again but they cried saying crucify him crucify him and he said unto them the third time why what evil has he done i have found no cause of death in him i will therefore chastise him and let him go and they were instant with loud voices requiring that he might be crucified and the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed and pilate gave sentence that it should be as they required and he released unto them him that was for sedition and murder was cast into prison whom they had desired but he delivered jesus to their will and as they led him away they laid hold upon one simon a serene coming out of the country and on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after jesus and there followed him a great company of people of women which also bewailed and lamented him and jesus turning unto them said daughters of jerusalem weep not for me but weep for yourself and for your children for behold the days are coming in which they shall say blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear and the paps that never gave suck then shall they begin to say to the mountains fall on us and to the hills cover us and if they do these things in a green tree what shall be done in the dry and there were also two others malefactors malefactors led with him to be put to death and when they were come to the place which is called calvary they were crucified him and the malefactors one on the right hand and the other on the left then said jesus father forgive them for for they know not what they do and they parted his raiment and cast lots and the people stood beholding and the rulers also with them derided him saying he saved others let him now save himself if he be christ the chosen of god and the soldiers also mocked him coming to him and offering him vinegar and saying if thou be the king of jews save thyself and a superscription was also written over him in letters of greek latin and hebrew this is the king of the jews 
and one of the malefactors which were hanged ra rallied railed on him saying if thou be christ save thyself and us but the other rebuked him saying dost thou not fear god seeing thou art in the same condemnation and we indeed justly for we receive the reward of our deeds but this man has done nothing amiss and he said unto jesus lord remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom and jesus said unto him verily i say unto you today you shall be with me in paradise and it was about the sixth hour and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour and the sun was darkened and the wheel of the temple was rent in the midst and when jesus had cried with a loud voice he said father into thy hands i come in my spirit and having said thus he gave up the ghost and now when the centurion saw what was done he glorified god saying certainly this was a righteous man and all the people that came together to that sight beholding the things which were done smote their breasts and returned and all his acquaintances and the women that followed him from galilee stood afar off beholding these things and behold there was a man named joseph a counselor and he was a good man and a just man the same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them he was of arimathea a city of the jews who also himself waited for the kingdom of god this man went unto pilate and begged the body of christ and he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulcher that was hewn in stone wherein never man before was laid and that day was a preparation and the sabbath drew on and the women also which came with him from galilee followed after and beheld the sepulcher and how his body was laid and they returned and prepared spices and ornaments and rested the sabbath day according to the commandment now upon the first day of the week very early in the morning they came unto the sepulcher bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher and they entered in and found not the body of jesus and it came to pass as they were much perplexed there about behold two men stood by them in shining garments and as they were afraid bowed down their faces to the earth and they said unto them why seek ye the living among the dead he is not here he is risen remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in galilee saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again and they remembered his words and returned from the sepulcher and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest it was mary magdalene and joanna and mary the mother of james and other women that were with him which told these things unto the apostles and their words seemed to them as idle tales and they believed them not then arose peter and ran into the sepulcher and stooping down he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed wondering in himself at that which was come to pass and behold the two of them that went the same day to a village called emmaus which was from jerusalem about three score furlongs and they talked together of all these things which had happened and it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned jesus himself drew near and went with them and their eyes were holden that they should not know him and he said unto them what manner of communications are these that ye have to one another as ye walk and are sad and one of them whose name was cleopas answering said unto him art thou only a stranger in jerusalem and has not known these things that are come to pass there in these days and he said unto them what things and they said unto him concerning jesus of nazareth which was a prophet mighty in deed and word before god and all the people and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him and we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed israel and beside all this today is the third day since these things were done yes and certain women also of our company made us astonished which were early at the sepulchre and when they found not his body they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive and certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre 
and found it even so as the women had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken, ought not Christ to have suffered these things, and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all prophets, he expounded unto them in all scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went. And he made as though he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread, and blessed it, and brake, and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said to one another, Did our hearts not burn within us? While he talked to us by the way, while he opened up the scriptures to us. And they rose up the same hour, and returned to Jerusalem, and found the living gathered together, and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. And they told what things were done in the way, and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And they were terrified and affrighted, and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is my myself, Handle me and see me, for a spirit has not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they had believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and of an honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before them, and said unto them, These are the words which I speak unto you, while I was ate with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behaved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands, and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them, and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, praising and blessing, blessing God. Amen. This ends the whole reading of the Gospel according to St. Luke.